Okay, so today we'll focus on microreactions. So whenever you see a reagents that have alpha and beta conjugated ketone, aldehyde, or other electron withdrawing group, we know that it is it is strong indications that is microreactions. And the beta positions is the electrophile positions. So let's take a look on this. Like if we attack at the beta positions, the product we can draw resonance. Right? So it is stabilized by resonance. But in the other case, if the nucleophile attack at the alpha positions, we will result um a negative charge on the carbons, which is very unfavorable. We don't want to charge on carbons, right? So beta position is more electrophile. Then we have the base that can deprotonate the most acidic hydrogens. We'll form an enolate. And the enolate will attack the electrophile. It would be easier to see if you label the column number. Don't forget the method group on column number three. Right? Then we can get rid of the pi bonds. So micro reactions will result you with a one five dicarbonyl. So that's our from the nucleophile. And then this part are from the electrophile. And this is the new bond that we just make between carbon number two and carbon number three. That would be the alpha, and this is like the beta of the electrophile. The next one is similar, right? So after we form an enolate, it will attack an electrophile. And again, we form. 1 5 dicarbonyl. And we make a bond between. Common number two and common number three. Those are new bonds. So Robin Robinson's annulation, it is a combination of micro reactions and then intramolecular outer condensations. The reagents we need to use are a base to do the pre deprotonations and then heat for condensation. So it's after the first reactions, like after micro reactions. And then from a di one five dicarbonyl. Right. 
and then now we can do alpha reaction because we have two alpha positions, right? But we want to deprotonate this alpha because we want to close the ring. We want to make a six color ring, which is much more stable. So now we have an enolate that can do nuclear attack, the kapak, no, which is electrophile. This is our nucleophile. So let's label the common number. We've labeled one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're gonna close the ring. Yes. So this is column six, five. So on the column number six, we're gonna have orange, and don't forget column two will be a kapak now. Okay. So with uh, under heat, I'm gonna do a condensation, right? So we'll deprotonate the alpha hydrogens and then form a pi bonds between common number one and number six and kicks out OH. So the final product. So remember the number. The Kabotner is there. And now we have between column one and six there will be a, a by a pi bond.